Well, it's another beautiful day up here at the East Fork. About 7 p.m. I think it's about maybe low 70s. It's really, really nice out here. Couldn't ask for more. Uh, I got up here a little bit early. I don't like getting up early in the morning. <laughs> Eugene's going to meet me at about uh, 5.36 a.m. And uh, we're going to go up about three and a half or so. Yeah, we're aiming for Swan, but uh, we got some friends up at Four Mile. We might meet up with them. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here in my awesome chair and uh, enjoy the river flow. It's beautiful up here. Look at this thing. Keep your eyes open at estate sales. You really never know what you're going to find. First to the top, May 29th, 1953, Everest. This thing's in pretty good shape. It cost me like 14 bucks. It's a nice little backpack too. Must weigh a whole pound. Pretty sweet, I love this thing. Uh, while I'm out here, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Damon Fay. He gave me a real good call out on my uh, channel on his last video, and I appreciated it. He's a good guy. If you guys haven't checked him out, it's uh, Damon Fay Outdoors. You'll enjoy his videos. Oh yeah, beautiful out here. Look at that. All right, we made it to our location. We've actually been here for a little while. I took a little nap. I haven't been feeling all that great. Um, we are just past Allison. Allison is roughly right there. So uh, we've dug up here a few times, right up on the bend there. Uh, steady flower all day. Uh, just took a quick hike up there and it was pretty crazy looking. So I'm gonna walk up there again and get a little video. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> anyway, I'm up here uh, just past Allison. There's the rock slide. And uh, if you watched any of my videos, particularly I think my first one, very first trip I had up here, I came up to this spot, camped out, and dug uh, right around here in this bank. And uh, we came here a few other times. It's pretty steady flower gold all day. Um, so, you know, pretty easy go to if you're not doing any good anywhere else. You can just stop by here and get some flower all day. But uh, this is all completely washed out. And uh, this whole bank is gone. It is just tree roots. Look at that. It's just crazy. I was planning on digging here on the bank, but uh, that doesn't really look like it's going to happen. I don't want to hurt these trees any more than the water already did. But uh, there you can see there's a galvanized pipe we found on one of our digs digging here. Uh, Eugene's got his box set up uh, oh, roughly right here. He's not doing all that great. I uh, found a good spot right behind this rock here that I think I'm going to try. There's a lot of large rocks. They're all impacted real good. So uh, it's worth a look. We'll see how it goes. It is freaking beautiful out here today. Look at this. Clear skies, light breeze, mid-70s. And river. More could you ask for? Okay, this is where I think I'm going to set up and do my first little bit of sampling. You see you got these, this larger boulder here, and you got one here, and you've got one here. And in between all of them, you've got all these nice rocks that are all packed in here real good. And uh, hopefully there's some gold in there. Well, we haven't found much gold yet, but I got a little friend. Lots of these guys around here, they are noisy. Um... <clears throat> I dug around over here, nothing. A little bit in the middle here, nothing. Over here, nothing. Eugene's poked a few holes, not much of anything. He's uh, running some dirt right now. I went up uh, across the river, which was not fun. And right up above this tree line here, there's a layer of gravel that was left over after the water came through. And uh, it's got a lot of tree roots in it and stuff, but I did a quick pan. Got a nice little speck out of it. It's just such a pain in the butt to carry gear over there. Water's just trying to knock you down. Uh, so I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm actually thinking about going back over by our camp and poking around and see what it looks like. It is, uh, you can see it here. Camp is right where these trees are and it's a little bit of an inside bend right there. It might be worth a shot.
All right, we got a camp set up and uh, we are having no luck on the gold. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's pretty sad. Uh, Eugene's gonna try right here by camp. I'm gonna go a little bit further down past him on the right. Um, man, I hope we find something. We're having a good time either way. I'm not, uh, I'm not exactly gonna starve tonight. Got some nice steaks. Anyway, we'll do a little night digging to see how it goes. All right, as a last attempt over here in this area, Eugene and I grabbed a few buckets from uh, further down the river there. And uh, we're just gonna see what they look like. So far, uh, you know what, one little speck so far. Uh, maybe two. If this doesn't work out, we're gonna go back down the swan tomorrow. Be nice to have some gold in here. These little guys are everywhere. They're not exactly little. This guy's about uh, five inches long. Two in legs. We made it here, Swan. We are directly underneath it. We had such bad luck yesterday, we decided to come over here. I found such a little amount of gold, I actually just dumped it in Eugene's sluice and then he dumped it back in the water. Uh, a little sad. Okay. Anyway, it's kind of nice up here. Got plenty of water flow. Lots of area to dig. We're on the lower side of an inside bin. You can see it starts up here. Actually, the river turns this way, so it comes around like this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna punch a hole in the bank here, and see how it looks. I don't really have the energy to uh, carry buckets all the way across the, from up higher, so. I'll just put the sluice down near me and shovel right into it. I don't know how well that's gonna show up, but everything that's glittering is gold. Look how pretty that is. There's some up top too, and I guarantee there's gonna be some down at the bottom. Maybe some, look at that, look at that cluster down there. Wow. Maybe some down in the ripples in the bottom also. Anyway, um, it appears, as best I can tell, I don't know if it's gonna show up on here, almost fell. Uh, I've been stripping this layer about six inches deep or so. And it seems like once you get any deeper than that, you hit a red clay layer. It doesn't seem to be anything in there. So I'm gonna try and get this rock out of there. There's a few other ones. There's another one right here, another one right here and uh, keep going. Eugene's digging over here, and I gotta say, he's doing pretty good too. We're happy if we had found the spot yesterday. But uh, I'll try and get some good video of us digging and stuff. All right, real quick, that is Eugene's cleanup so far. We've only been here, how long we've we been digging? About an hour in this spot? Uh, yeah, Maybe? All right, I'm gonna do me a cleanup and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's as good as that. Okay, here's my cleanup. I am going to do my very best to do this. I think Eugene's got me beat. I uh, don't see it. There it is. I did find one interesting little thing in here. Um, well, the wind just literally blew my sluice into the river. Uh, there you go. A perfectly square bit of iron pyrite. I thought that was kind of neat. Don't find that in your pan every day. All right, looks like it's gonna get windy. Jeez. So far, like I said, I did a clean up a little bit ago. I don't know how much I've run. I'm just shoveling right in. Getting pretty though. This is uh, this is what my hole looks like so far. I just pulled this rock out from right here, and it's all mud. I was gonna dig underneath it, but I think I'm just gonna focus on the area in front of it, which is where I got that good sized piece right now. Eugene's got a hell of a thing going on over here. He's on his third clean out right now. He's a little bit worried about his ripples not being, uh, not collecting everything. So he's being a, a little bit picky. Better safe than sorry. So, uh, we're about to lose our sunlight. Look at that. Almost gone. Yeah. 
We're going to do as much as we can before so. I just wanted to show this really quick. Eugene's done about three cleanups. Look what he's got right here. Look at all that pretty gold. A nice piece on the corner right there. Well, there's a hole so far, including that on the left over there. Uh, just wanted to give a little info here. Obviously, big rocks are a good thing, a good sign. Which we've got a few here. Eugene's doing real good behind these guys. This guy came from over here. I got nothing but mud from behind that one. It was terrible. A bunch of clay. Really bright red. Um, we're digging in a area that came through quick and laid a bunch of flood gold. So, if you can see here, there is a bunch of different sizes of gravel in here. All the way down to cobble, the bigger rocks. I'm pulling this stuff out of there. Um, that's what you want. You don't want an area where there's just a pile of these left over from the water because the water washed all that stuff away if you're looking for flood gold. Um, one thing I did notice, when I'm digging this stuff here, it's all good until I get down to this red stuff, which has a little bit of clay in it. Um, the gold seems to be in this cobble, this mix here, and there seems to be nothing inside of this clay. And you can tell when you get to the clay because it's clumped up and it turns your uh, water bright red when you dump the sluice. So if you do happen to dig in an area like this, look for an area with mixed different sizes of gravel and cobble. That's where the flood goal is going to be. stuff that we're getting the gold out of. And, uh, that goofy red stuff that has the clay in it. No gold. Alright, I'm going to run a little bit more, but then we're going to pack it up and get out of here. I just wanted to show that. That is all gold. How pretty it is. It's going to be a real good clean out. Not too bad for only a couple hours of digging. This is one of three cleanouts right here. They all look pretty much the same. Well, we're about to wrap it up. Eugene's running his last bucket. Uh, I think we pretty much cleaned this area out. Uh, one word of caution if you come up here, and this is very important, um, don't dig over here. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we're standing right here. We got, what, 20 feet until the cliff here? Well. Some rocks decided they wanted to come down from up top up there. And Eugene got hit in the hand by one. Uh, standing right there. And uh, I heard a couple splashing around next to me and I just we just both took off running. <laughs> that was a bad moment. <laughs> anyway, if you are gonna dig over here, just be very cautious. You never know when one of these rocks are gonna come down and just take you out. Alright, there's my final cleanup right there. I think Eugene probably did a little bit better, but we're going to find out. Catch this video if you get a chance. Uh, weekend Prospector. Till next time.